Well, looky here, we got us a set of Beetle trailing arms. More specifically, these are actually from a Volkswagen thing, and somebody did some work to box them in and make them even stronger. Ideal for what we're doing here, absolutely ideal. But when I pick these things up, I typically I just palm that knuckle end over there and, and just hold the whole thing upright like this. Anyway, next thing I know, all the way up to my elbow, there's ants, fire ants, all over me. And if you know anything, if you live in the south about these fire ants, man, when they get on you, they start biting and stinging. And my right hand right now, while I didn't feel them bite me, I do have a little bit of an itchiness sensation and I'm starting to show a little red dots. So yeah, I think they had just started to break the skin. <laughs> How exciting. Anyway, yes. We have trailing arms for my 1967 Volkswagen bus frame that we're doing the IRS conversion to. There's the pockets that we welded in. It poured rain the other day and they started to just barely started to flash rust, but nothing a little bit of acid couldn't take care of. But there we are. There's the arms. I'm going to have to make these spring plates match, which isn't a big deal. I just cut them short and redrill new holes in them. So that way they match up with the beetle ones. I have a set of beetle spring plates in the back that I can use as a template so I can align the holes properly. Otherwise, yeah, that's what we're doing. And I want to give a special thanks and a special shout out to Carlos here in town. Not the same Carlos that you guys remember from my other YouTube videos, but another guy, he has a, a Volkswagen shop with a ton of Volkswagen stuff in it. I had no idea he had what he has. And he's right here, so thank you, Carlos. I really appreciate this more than you know. And uh, these will be going up here on this frame. You know, the other thing I like about these is they also have the thing axles in them. And I needed to order a set of those anyway. The Beetle ones wouldn't suffice because the flanges that are on the back side here actually will fit bus CV joints. The big CV joints, I think they're 100 millimeter or something, will fit on there as opposed to the Beetle ones, which are a little bit smaller, like 90 millimeter. Big advantages, the bus ones are bigger, tougher, and they articulate more. So the thing... Um, the thing trailing arms already had them, which is nice. So that saves me like 200 bucks on top of the purchase of buying these arms. And it's nice that they had brake drums and all the other hardware is already there. Um, the little covers that hold the backing plates on, all the nuts, bolts, hardware, the just everything is here. All you've got to do is just bolt on. Once I set up the spring plates anyway, just bolt them right on. I still need these three bolts here. There's three on each side, but there's six of them. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Man, there's an ant on my head. Okay, when I whip my hand up in the air, I must have thrown them up in the air. All right, well, on the other side of this over here, we have a 1968 Volkswagen single cab bay window bus. Now, somebody's probably going to yell at me, it's not a bus, it's a truck. Well, yeah, that's fine, but that's what it is. You want to play semantics with me? That's fine, but this is coming up in a video because I'll be doing some repairs on this thing. But we're not going to see that in today's video because we're trying to focus primarily on this, but the fact that it's going to be in the background, people are going to be asking a lot of questions about it. Now, you're probably also asking, hey, Duckman, you know, where's your intro and where's your background music and all the other fun stuff? Well, I don't have any of that today because my computer busted. And since my computer busted, I can't do any editing, which means I have to upload my videos directly as you see them. So what you see is what you get. If they're a little shaky, if they're a little noisy, if there's some copyrighted music, oh man, that'd be bad. I might have to re-record the whole video over again. <laughs> but needless to say, yep, we're gonna get these arms fitted on here. We're gonna do a little work on this. There's a little bit of rust repair it needs to be done. One of the shock towers, they're kinda like this. Being that this is a 67, this is a 68, that was the year that they transitioned and changed a lot of stuff. So yeah, the shock tower, I'm gonna say resembles that, but the problem is, is it rusted off. It's just, it's gone. <laughs> it's just completely rusted off. There's a lot of other rust repairs that need to be done under there. Somebody, the previous owner, um, went ahead and he didn't patch the rust as he should have. Instead, what he did is he beautifully formed metal to just bend around the frame and then he sheet metal screwed it in so it looks like it's the frame it looks like it's intact but truthfully we don't know what we're going to find underneath it and uh this is one of wild bill's projects and i'm finishing up some welding on it because that's not the stuff he does he's more into the mechanical such but yeah i'll be fixing up something on there it belongs to a couple ladies here in town they do uh floral um sales they actually put all their flowers and such in the back of the truck and they drop the sides down and uh, they sell roadside flowers. I'm highly successful, they're always busy every time I see them out and about. 
And for the last year or so, maybe even two years, every time this thing pops up somewhere, somebody sends me a picture of it. It's just kind of funny, it's now sitting in front of my house. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that sums up about what's gonna be going on this week. Uh, most of my videos are going to be pretty rough cut. I'm just gonna upload them as they are, as I said, until I have a computer. I ordered some parts for it. It was the weirdest thing. I, I finished editing the go-kart video. I was like 99% done with it. And then I put the computer to sleep, went out to go pick up these trailing arms, came back, hit the power button to wake the computer up, and the computer turned on nothing but a black screen. Now you probably say, oh, it's a monitor, you know, what's the video card? Well, I actually tried a different card, and I have four monitors, and every single one of them was dark. So it wasn't any of that. It appears it's probably the motherboard, and it's an older computer, roughly almost 10 years old. So to find a motherboard from an older machine without having to replace the entire computer is a little bit of a pain in the ass. And I don't like buying used motherboards because you end up in the same situation. You know, it's got all those miles on it, and it's just going to blow out. Just, <laughs> yeah. So I spent an arm and a leg to get a brand new one. Should be shipped here probably within the next week. So like I said, my videos are gonna be a little, little rough coming up for the next week or so. Just editing what I got. Yeah, I know these drums are also four lugs. I do have some five lug adapters that I am going to put on here temporarily. I've already picked a set of wheels out for this. Just coincidentally, they're the same wheels that came off of Gregory and Gregory was also a 67 with five lugs. So I've got a, a nice set of super wide five lug wheels so I could put some big mud tires or something on this frame. Well, that's the plan. I want to build this thing up to be off road. I want something big, exciting. Just, you know, this, this is a Volkswagen truck. You notice how tall they sit? They sit pretty high. Being that this is also a bus, it's gonna sit at a similar height. Um, we're gonna jack it up even higher. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm gonna raise up the front suspension. I might even reposition the axle beam. The trailing arms, of course, you know, spring plates are adjustable. You can bump those things way down. Um, these are not the final trailing arms that are going onto this bus. These will be the ones that I start out with. I would like to get down the road, not immediately, because of expense. Although they're in my wish list. If you guys want to send me a set, man, I'll put them on right away. But in my wish list, you'll find some 3x3 three three trailing arms. They're 3 inches longer, 3 inches wider, and it makes this thing even bigger. So less adjustment required at the spring plate to raise the thing up even higher. So, yeah. I want to make this thing really big. I'd also like to somehow, and I don't know how I'm going to have to do a little engineering, I'd like to retain the reduction boxes with the IRS rear suspension. It's not something that you typically see because the sway bar, or not sway bar, the, the, the swing axle typically runs right into the back of the reduction boxes and it's all like one piece and it's never been meant to run IRS on it. Although some bay window buses in South America did have that. The fact is with the parts that I have available to me here in the States, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of machining work. I'm probably gonna have to fit a bearing, some type of a seal, a spring clip, blah, 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 something. And then these thing axles will probably get machined down also to fit into the back of the reduction boxes. And that's if I can even mount them on these trailing arms. I don't know how I would even do it yet. So, ooh, just lost my shoe. Woo! Wearing them like slippers today. Got a little lazy. <laughs> These are my old beat up shoes. The really beat ones. The guys, you see me wear them once in a while when I'm working as if they spill oil or something on them. I just don't care. And they're incredibly comfortable. Well, I guess in a nutshell, that's all that's going on. So, no fancy intros, no fancy music in this video. No, sorry guys, no B. McQueen. No fancy thumbnail. Nothing too exciting else than what you're seeing here. So I appreciate all that you guys are doing for me. If you do want to send something out to my wish list, you can find it down below in my video description. You can also find it up on my website at duckshit.net. And, you know, thanks you guys for watching and thanks for sticking with me. We're going to get some progress done on this thing. You know, I'm doing way too much talking, but for those of you that don't know, <laughs> I'm going to throw that in here real quick, just real quick. One interjection. And this isn't just to make the video longer, but to explain something. If you've ever spent any time on the radio doing any type of television show hosting, or specifically radio, live radio, you have to keep on talking. You can't stop talking. Somebody has to talk. If it's not you, it's your guest or your partner, or sometimes you even talk to your producer. Because if you stop talking, essentially, the radio stops transmitting audio. And after so many seconds, the dead air light comes on. And you say, well, that's no big deal. Well, yeah, it is, because when the dead air light comes on, it scrambles the technicians. Because the technicians have to come out to try to fix the radio station to figure out what the hell's wrong with it. Well, if it's the light's coming on because I'm not talking, 
then it's my fault that we had to pay the technicians, which is a really high rate, <laughs> to come scrambling out to figure out what the hell's wrong with the radio station. So yeah, I'm really effective and really good about carrying on and talking because yes, I used to host a radio show about computers and technology. Really didn't talk about Volkswagens then. Now it wasn't so much my thing at the time. It was about two years I was away from this stuff, but yeah, it was strictly computers. Talked about computer related stuff, allowed people to call in and ask questions. This was in the early 2000s, back in the day when people actually, well, everybody had desktop computers, and everybody has smartphones or tablets or all the other exciting stuff. But anyway, I digress. That's enough for this week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Licky, likey, comment, subscribe. Pluck the dingle belly. Check out duckshit.net for all of my different social media links, as well as my wish list. If you'd like to send me something, you'll see the stuff that I'm building and the stuff that I need to get some of my projects done. No, I don't expect you to buy the stuff. I'll buy it myself. But if you want to accelerate things and make things happen a little bit faster, that's the best way to contribute. So thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.